Okay, so now we're ready to work on our back side. We're gonna be using two exercises back to back with this for 16 reps. We just need our dumbbells today. Let's go ahead and pick those dumbbells up. And we're gonna start in a shoulder width stance. Nice tall posture, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna turn sideways here so you can see the range of motion. We want our hips to drop back, hinging, dropping back, and then extending all the way back and up. So 16 reps here, nice flat back, and extend back and up. So just to your knees, deadlifting is one of those things that we always wanna make sure that we have really good execution before we go deeper and before we go really heavy. So the whole idea here is a nice flat back, glutes tracking back behind us, stretching through those hamstrings, making sure at the bottom of that lift we're pulling our abs in nice and tight and we don't lose that upper body. Don't let our chest drop, shoulders back and down. Okay, we've got three left right here. And tall, two, and one more. Excellent. From here, we're gonna go right down into a 45 degree angle. Weights are by our side. This is a mid-back row. So we're just gonna squeeze between those shoulder blades. 16 reps again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, we've got eight left right there. So keep in mind, we still wanna keep that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Abs have gotta be engaged as well. Finishing up, we got four more. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. So from here, we can repeat another set. If you need to move on, we'll go right on to that next set. For the next one, what we'd like to do is put one of those free weights down. We're gonna go into what's called a swing. So we're gonna have our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, slightly turned out with our toes and knees and hold that weight right in the center. We're gonna lower down, same idea with those hinge, hips are back, and then just raise that free weight just to shoulder height. So we've got 16 reps here. There's three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, let's get eight more, here we go. Nice and tall, eight, seven, really squeeze those glutes on the top, five, four, three, last two, and one more, perfect. Go ahead and pick up that free weight again. We're gonna go right into biceps. This is called a scoop. So we're gonna bring those shoulders back and down, elbows right at 90 degrees. We're gonna reach forward just to shoulder height and then pull back and squeeze those elbows behind us. So reaching forward, pulling back. Here's three, and back. Four, back, five, squeeze, six, seven. We got eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, make sure that posture is nice and tall. Six, and five, four more. Four, three, Nice, almost there, two left, and last one, perfect. So we can either repeat or move on to the next exercise. So for the next one, we're gonna keep our free weights. Go ahead and bring those shoulders back and down. Let's step forward with the left foot. Nice deep lunge, torso's tall. We're gonna lower down towards the ground and come right back up. 16 reps right here. So we wanna make sure when we're lowering down, we're pushing through the heel of our front foot. And as well, we're pushing through the ball of the back foot. So we get that whole back side of the leg firing. Exhale as we push up. Right there. Okay, we've got five left here. Five, four, three, two more. Nice, we've got one left. We're gonna keep this stance. 
Put one free weight down and then just return right back to that same stance. Weight in the right hand supporting the back on the left. This is called a lawnmower pull. You're gonna reach that hand down towards the floor, pull back and up. There's three, four, five, six. So legs are getting an extra hard workout. They have to still hold and stabilize here. How are the legs doing, guys? Ready on fire. Aim over, <laughs> good. Here's seven, six, five, four. We've got three left. Three, two, and one. All right. Got to pick up those weights and hit that opposite side. Go ahead and grab that dumbbell. Take the time to set it up. Nice deep lunge, shoulders back and down. 16 reps again. Here we go. Lower and lift. Two and up. Let's talk about breathing just for a second. We want to make sure when we get to the bottom of this lunge, that's when we start to exhale. Push that heel right through the floor. Good. Got some good breathing going on back behind me. You guys working hard? <laughs> Nice, okay, we got eight left, here we go. Eight and up, seven, lift, six, five, good, hang in there, just four more. Up, three, and two, final one. There we go, little breather while we put that one free weight down. Return to exactly the same lunge position, shoulders back and down, support your back with your hand on that right quad. Here we go. 16, 15, make sure that arm's running just right along your side. 13, 12, nice. Okay, eight more, okay? Are we in, team? Yeah. Eight, okay. Seven, six, five, you got this. Four left, three, two, and one, assess, you can get one more set in, go for it. Otherwise, we're moving on. So we're gonna come back with just a single weight again. We're gonna hold on to that weight in what we call a goblet squat. So here we're gonna go a little bit wider, toes and knees turned to the corner, shoulders back and down, lower down elbows just inside the knees, and come back and up. Down and up, exhale coming up. So keep in mind, we wanna think about things like, as we're lifting up, we're trying to pull those thighs right towards the center, squeezing towards an imaginary midline, using those glutes. Looking good, let's get six more, here we go. Six, up, five, we feeling it? Yeah. Got it? Three left, up, two, and one. Grab that other free weight, upper body. We're gonna go into a lateral bicep curl. So shoulders back and down, Palms facing the corners, 16 reps right here. Exhale as we lift, pull those abs in tight. Four, five, six. Make sure those shoulders aren't rolling in. We got a nice long neck. Exhale on that lift. What do you think, can we knock out eight more? Okay, here we go. Eight, seven, six, Five, finish up, four left. Four, three, two, and last one. We can put those free weights down. If you're ready to add a second set, you can do so right now. Otherwise, we're moving on to our last grouping. So for this one, we're gonna lay down on our mats, stomach down, 
arms extended out in front. So this is a Superman style with the arms extended. If you need to modify for shoulder issues, you can go ahead and place those arms more in what we call a goal post arm. Hips pressed into the ground. Go ahead and exhale, lift the arms and legs together and lower back and down. 16 reps is where we're at. We wanna make sure that there's not compression in the back. So we're looking for length. Toes are reaching one direction. Fingers reaching the opposite. Exhale, lift and lower. Up and down. When we think about the core, we wanna make sure that we think about that entire trunk together. Our back working with our core muscles. Glutes are part of that as well. That's what supports that low back. Lift and lower. We're gonna do four more reps right here. Four and three. Nice job breathing, nice extensions. Two and last one. So our pairing with this one is a renegade row. So we're gonna grab that free weight, place it right between the hands and go ahead and set up in plank position. So our shoulders are back and down, our neck is long, our eyes are looking slightly forward over our fingertips. And we're gonna go ahead and just alternate those rows, right arm rows, shift and switch to the opposite side. So in a move like this, we get our core engaged at the same time. It's not just gonna be our back and shoulders, but we have our abs working to help prevent over rotation. So working on keeping that pelvis stable and strong in the middle. Good, nice work. And then watch as we get fatigued, we tend to kind of round those shoulders a little bit. So we wanna keep in mind sliding those scapulas back and down, keeping a nice long back. Nice work. We got four left here, guys. Four and three, two more. And last one, right there. Nice job. So that's gonna complete our workout for backside workout number one. Nice work, everyone.